District 58, on behalf of the Board of Education and the staff of the district, I'd like to welcome you all to this virtual retiree celebration. We certainly wish we could all be together in person. However, the conditions of the pandemic won't allow us to do that yet. That being said, I am extremely grateful to be a part of this celebration and humbled by the collaboration between the Downers Grove Elementary Education Association, the Board of Education, and the staff of the district in order to come together and honor our 29 retirees. Throughout this video, you will hear countless stories about how these 29 individuals have contributed to not only the school district, but how they've improved the lives of their colleagues and the thousands and thousands of students they served. I'd like to wish all of our retirees a very happy and well-deserved retirement and know that your legacy will continue to live on in the lives of everyone that you've impacted. Thank you very much for your service and I hope everyone enjoys the video. Have a great day. Hello retirees, I'm Craig Young and I serve as president of the DGEEA. As a representative of a larger group, it is always difficult to try and put into words the thoughts of so many. Each retiree this year has contributed so much to our district over the years. To say you will all be missed or that it won't be the same without you is a given. To say that you have made a difference seems like such an understatement. All we can really say is thank you. Thank you for your years of service and dedication for the students and families at Downers Grove and for your colleagues. And especially this year, know that we are jealous. Enjoy your retirement. You have earned it. On behalf of all of us, thank you. Hello, I'm Stephanie Dornan, Assistant Principal at Herrick Middle School, and I have had the unique pleasure of getting to know Mike Bergmeier as both a student and as a faculty member here at Herrick. And one thing that's remained true throughout all these years is that Mike is the most caring and compassionate teacher and that he has dedicated so much for the Herrick community and for his students. He truly puts students first and he is going to be irreplaceable. Thank you, Mike, for your years of service. Congratulations to Anna Agofsky on 33 years of service to Downers Grove District 58 as a school psychologist. In speaking with the teams who have worked closely with Anna throughout these years, what stands out is her strong and supportive presence on the team, her calm demeanor, and her ability to give her teams that boost and laugh, especially on the days that we need it most. We are thankful for Anna's ability to connect with both students and staff across the district. On behalf of Britta, myself, the Fairmount Henry Puffer and Grove Children's Preschool staff, thank you, Anna, for what you have done for our students, for us, and for all of our District 58 schools in that supportive psychologist role. Anna, as you head into retirement, we truly wish you all the best and hope that there are only good things for you to come. Enjoy every moment, congratulations, and thank you truly for your service. What's shaking, Bacon? Kathy is retiring. Mm. Those who visited Kathy's classroom regularly during morning meeting would always find Kathy and her students passing around a stuffed piece of bacon. This is just one of the many ways Kathy built relationships with her students. It's hard to think of Kingsley School without Kathy Seiden, isn't it? Oh, you bet. I can almost see it now. Um, a teacher needs 25 timers or a toaster oven that when it pops up, it teaches you sounds and letters or a seat cushion that's just the perfect thing for Wiggly students. The Kingsley staff has always known that they could rely on Kathy for having everything. Think of a committee and Kathy was on it. You would lose track if you tried to count the number of hours Kathy spent on various committees at the building and district level over the years. Think about those kids and their behavior. No one analyzes the function of behavior better than Kathy and consistently follows through her plan that shapes the new behavior. She cares about her students as if they were her own children. And because of that, it motivates her to make sure that they are successful. Kathy is the type of teacher who stops in at 7 a.m. to share her ideas because of solutions that she brainstormed in the middle of the night. There was no problem too big for Kathy to solve. Some, somehow, some way, she always found a way. Kathy, we will miss you and how much you care about Kingsley and everyone in it. Congratulations. Congratulations.
It is my privilege to honor Mrs. Diane Peterson for 32 years of service at Henry Puffer School. She has been the face of Puffer as our school secretary, and she keeps this ship afloat. Diane brings a special energy to our office, and she is everyone's go-to woman. I can confidently speak for our staff and school community when I say how much Diane will be missed by everyone here. The love that she has for this school and our community is truly something special. Congratulations on your retirement, Diane. You will forever be our office queen. Joan brightened the halls of Kingsley School for 32 years as an instructional assistant in what was once known as the reading room. Remarkably, there was never a day in those 32 years where Joan didn't have a smile on her face all day. No matter what you needed, Joan was there to help. This includes her willingness to stand in the freezing cold temperatures to greet students during morning arrival. And yes, still with a smile on her face. Uh, staff will say that she was the friendliest person around and had a way of making all people around her and at Kingsley feel comfortable. Joan worked with the neediest of students, students who didn't hear the sounds that letters made and who needed someone to help make that connection between letter and sounds for them. She was gifted at making that happen. Joan will be missed. There will be a day when we identify a group of students who need love and understanding in addition to help learning. And we will say, give them to Joan, out of habit. Joan, we wish you well. You deserve all that life can offer you in your retirement. Congratulations. Congratulations to Jenny Rodriguez on her 29 years of service to Downers Grove District 58 and at Fairmount School as the school social worker. Jenny, in talking with staff that has worked closely with you over the years, what truly stands out to us is your ability to form relationships with the students, staff, and families at Fairmount in support of the learning that occurs both in and out of the classroom. Additionally, your kind heart and ability to connect with others has made such an impact and positive difference on the lives of so many at Fairmount School. You have always been able to see a mountain not as an obstacle, but as something, a challenge that you can climb and overcome. Thank you for everything you have done and congratulations on your retirement. As you head into retirement, enjoy time with your family. We wish you all the best and we hope you find yourself climbing those mountains and out in nature. Congratulations. How lucky we are to have Jane Bauheis as our music teacher in District 58. Jane has worked in multiple schools throughout the district since 1993. That is 28 years here in Downers Grove of teaching students what she is most passionate about, music. Jane, when we asked your colleagues how they would describe you, they repeatedly spoke about your cheerfulness, kind demeanor, positive attitude, and your willingness to help in any way possible. You hold high expectations for students while teaching and fostering a love of music in even the most reluctant students. It is truly amazing to watch you bring music to life, even over Zoom. In your classroom, you can hear, feel, and see all things music. There's a cheerful energy that fills the room and follows you wherever you go. What an amazing way to spend almost 30 years of teaching. How special is it to say that you spent your time inspiring students through music all of these years? Jane, this is your time now. We hope that you spend your time with the people you love the most and doing things you love like flying kites and sewing. But Jane, please don't ever stop bringing the greatness of music into other people's lives. Carol, after 25 years of service as Highland Secretary and many more as a Highland parent, to say that it won't be the same around here without you would be an understatement. You are truly a part of the fabric of the Highland community and we are all going to miss you tremendously. You're the smiling face that greets everyone when they walk through the door, answers the phone, Island School, this is Carol, and of course, uses your signature catchphrase, do you need an ice pack? You are always there to lend a hand and ready with a funny story to brighten everyone's day. You've seen so many families come through our doors. You've seen multiple generations learn and grow of the same family. Your selfless dedication to all of the members of the Highland community is the definition of what it means to be a Husky. Thank you for your positive impact that you've made on our community. You'll be missed tremendously, but we hope you enjoy your retirement with your kids, grandkids, and great-grandkids. We never truly say goodbye to those that mean so much to us, so instead, Carol, we'll say, see you later.
Hi, my name is Matt Jabala. I'm the principal at O'Neill Middle School, and I'm here to talk about Gloria McCollum. Gloria is a teacher. She's been at O'Neill for a very long time. Gloria has taught self-contained special ed. Gloria teaches resource, and for the last few years, Gloria's taught direct writing at O'Neill. Gloria is one of those people that has a, a true passion for teaching, and you hear all the time about teachers that have a passion. What makes Gloria unique is that she has a passion for those students who typically really struggle in school. Gloria has a passion for those kids who need that extra level of support and encouragement. Gloria is one of those people that really cares about kids and fills a void of that caring adult in kids' lives while really pushing them um, to be the best that they can be. Um, you talk about people who are going to leave a void when they retire, and Gloria is one of those people. Um, Gloria has very big shoes, and we're going to have a, a difficult time replacing Gloria um, for all the uniqueness that she brings to our school. Um, Gloria, I wish you the best of luck. I know you're looking forward to spending time with your husband and your new puppy and your new grandchildren. So, um, the best of luck, Gloria. I'd like to say a few words about Deb Roach. Um, Deb is a resource teacher at O'Neill. She currently teaches our direct reading classes. Uh, Deb is also our special education department chair. She's a member member of our leadership team at O'Neill, and she's really my right hand when it comes to special ed. You talk about people who help to make you a better person, and Deb Roach is one of those people who has definitely made me a better administrator. Um, I really value Deb's advice. She's my go-to person when I need to problem solve support for a student, whether they're a move-in or someone we're identifying. Um, something that people don't know is that Deb helps every year with the scheduling of our resource kids. And not only does she help with the scheduling of our resource kids, she she does the scheduling of our resource kids. And that's, that's something that I'm going to really, really miss, um, Deb and her expertise with that. Um, Deb has been a huge support to all of the staff at O'Neill, and um, whether it's related services, whether it's general ed kids, whether it's our IEP students, whether it's through our IRT teams, whether it's just as a uh, mentor member of our staff for new teachers, Deb's been wonderful. You talk about the impact that people have, and when I think of Deb, she's had an immeasurable impact uh, at O'Neill. Um, I know Deb's looking forward to retirement, spending more time with her husband Gary and her family, and and looking forward to be able to see your daughter play golf. Um, and Deb, you're definitely going to be missed, and I, I truly wish you the best. Congratulations, Jan Wagner, on 25 years of service in Downers Grove District 58 at Fairmount School as an instructional assistant. Over the years, those that have worked closely with Jan would describe her as someone who was always willing to jump in to help anyone, anywhere, at any time. She truly demonstrates a genuine care and compassion for students, and this has showed whether she was in the library helping, working at lunchroom as a supervisor, or just in her ability to go above and beyond to help anyone and everyone around her. Jan, as you head into retirement, we truly at Fairmount wish you all the very best. We hope you have a wonderful time with your family and you continue to enjoy your beautiful grandkids. Congratulations and thank you again for everything you have done for District 58. Kathy spent 23 years making Kingsley a better place. Kathy spent much of her time at Kingsley teaching literacy to students who struggled. All who encountered Kathy would describe her as kind and creative and talented. Kathy also served Kingsley School as a classroom special education instructional assistant. It was not unusual for Kathy to get a student who needed lots of special help. With a kind, firm hand, Kathy would work her magic. During arrival time at Kingsley, you could always hear Kathy greeting students by name every day and complimenting them maybe on what they were wearing, or maybe on something they had done particularly well the day before, but always something that put a smile on their face and started their day off with a positive note. Kathy will be missed. We will have a student come through our doors who needs a person who is not only good at supporting productive struggle, but also who cares and lets that student know every minute of every day that they care. And we will think, where's Kathy? Kathy, we wish you well. You deserve all that life has to offer in retirement. 
Congratulations. Congratulations. Thank you to Kathy Wunderlich for her 22 years of service to District 15. She was a beloved instructional assistant at Leicester until she retired this past summer. A colleague shared that when she started, she was dubbed one of the reading babes. Kathy loved working with all children, especially those that needed her most. Kathy saw the good in all people, big and small. She was a team player who would do anything for anyone. She knew exactly what kids needed and she worked hard pushing kids to reach their fullest potential. Kathy made an imprint on all who worked with her. She impacted so many children during her time at Leicester. And we're so happy for Kathy that she's been able to spend more time with her family and friends. She has been missed dearly this past year, but please know she will never be forgotten by her Leicester family. She will always be remembered for her hard work, dedication, and her friendship. We know she's already enjoying her well-deserved retirement. Thank you, Kathy. I'd like to recognize Gwen Box for her 21 years of service as our school librarian at Henry Puffer School. Gwen shared her love of reading and passion for learning with students throughout her years. Her excitement for our students and school always stood out. Gwen's amazing relationship with Andersons helped us to have countless author visits for our students in order to create memorable experiences. 12 years ago, Gwen started a club called Paper Moon Players. This is a theater experience for students and it is something that our kids look forward to each year. The amount of time Gwen devoted to this tradition was remarkable and we look forward to working to keep this tradition alive. Congratulations on your retirement, Miss Gwen Box. Congratulations to Cindy Dwyer on 21 years at Downers Grove District 58 in Fairmount School as a resource teacher. Cindy, in talking with staff who has worked the closest with you over the years, we thank you truly for your ability to make us laugh and your ability to step in whenever and wherever you were needed. Additionally, as a resource teacher, you have worked with some of our most reluctant learners or those that truly didn't believe that they could do what you pushed them to do. Thank you for being that encouraging voice, that supporting hand, and working above and beyond to ensure their successes, comfort, and confidence in all the learning that they did each day. As you head into retirement, we hope this finds time for you to enjoy time with your husband, your sons, and truly anything and everything that you would like to do. Congratulations and thank you from the bottom of our hearts for all you have done for Fairmount School. Congratulations, Donna, on your 21 years of service to the Whittier community. And this year to the Kingsley community. You have touched the lives of so many students throughout the years assisting and helping them on their journey to learn to read. You have worked with all levels of students from kindergarten through sixth grade. With each student you have encountered, you established a positive relationship to help support them in their reading, teaching and reinforcing skills and strategies to make them better readers. Donna, you were a welcome addition to the Kingsley family this year. From the beginning, you looked for ways to make our building the best it could be during such a challenging school year. We asked you to support small reading and math groups, and you did it with a smile. We asked you to support our arrival car line team, and you did it with a smile again, even during those frigid winter weather days. We asked you to switch your support role from small intervention groups to a classroom role, and again, you did it with a smile. Donna, we are going to miss you and your smile around our halls at Kingsley. Thank you also for the time you spent in the Whittier office as a part-time clerk. Your assistance, organization, and dedication to the Whittier community has been greatly appreciated. In recognition of our theme at Whittier this year, Be a Champion, the Whittier staff have shared some of your champion characteristics that are important to all of us. C, conscientious, compassionate, caring, cooperative. H, helpful, hardworking, honest. A, accomplished, adaptable, attentive. M, my friend missed. P, prompt, passionate. I, intelligent, innovated. O, orderly, organized. N, no nonsense, nice. Thank, Thank you, you and, and best, best wishes for a happy retirement. Margaret, we're so excited to celebrate you in your 21 years of service at Highland Elementary. 
Over the past 21 years, you've touched the lives of countless children that have come through our doors. You've inspired and cultivated the love of literature and reading in all of our students. From our youngest students that are just beginning to learn to read, to our young adults that enjoy getting lost in a good book and explore faraway lands. You're always there to lend a helping hand and look for ways to support all of our Huskies. You've given so much to the District 58 community over the past 21 years. We are so happy for you and wish you all the best in retirement. You can only imagine you'll spend your retirement exploring the great outdoors, playing with your dog Gus, and spending time with your kids and grandkids. No matter what you do, we know that you will spend your time helping others and spreading the love of reading with everyone. Margaret, our entire Highland family will miss you and we wish you all the best on your retirement. Not everyone can say they impacted students' lives for 20 years. However, Nancy Kent has been working in Downers Grove, District 58, since 2001. Started out, she spent several years at Kingsley, but moved on to work with students at both Henry Puffer and most recently, the Developmental Learning Program at Hillcrest the past six years. There's never a moment you see Nancy in the hall without a student by her side. Nancy, you're a key component to the classroom support system, a trusted and reliable resource, and a welcoming and sensitive care provider to many of the students you work with. Your child-centered approach to everything you do makes you invaluable. You're always looking for the best way to support the success of the students you're working with, and you truly treat the students like they're one of your own. Your Hillcrest family describes you as friendly, kind-hearted, patient, genuine, nurturing, helpful, and someone with truly one of the biggest hearts. We are grateful for the love and positivity you have brought to our school community and hope that you're able to spend all the time you want now with your husband and grandchildren, baking, cheering on the Cubs, and relaxing doing whatever it is you please. Thank you for your years of service, Nancy. Cindy, I bet there are not many people who know that you'll retire this year with both Gloria McCollum and Deb Roach, two other exceptional special education staff who you started with as an instructional assistant 19 years ago at O'Neill Middle School. We owe a big thank you to a friend at the ASC whose girls went to the same school as yours at Lester and Herrick. She was the one who told you about an open position in special services at the district office that would ultimately be a perfect fit for you and for us. As a district parent and community member, you were keenly connected to the needs of our children and families, making you a natural fit for a position that would serve both special education and English language learners at the time. Life certainly didn't look like it looks now around the office. Special ed paperwork was all done on triplicate by hand. Fax forms were done on paper. You used a typewriter to craft messages and floppy disks to send data back and forth to the state. After many years of distinguished service, you leave behind a legacy of caring and support, helping our families navigate complicated transportation situations, ensuring staff have the supplies they need in a timely and efficient manner, managing all of the state and federal data submissions, which translate into significant special education dollars for our students, as well as your daily support of our team in everything and anything that pops up on any given day. The commitment you've demonstrated has been exceptional and while we'll miss you tremendously, we know we can never compete with your most important role is that of grandma, as there are three little ones in Southern Illinois who anxiously await their time with you. Congratulations on your well-deserved retirement. We will forever be grateful for your service. Sandy Johnson has been with us in District 58 for 19 years. She is one of the resource teachers extraordinaire at Leicester. Sandy's focus is consistently on the needs of her students. She works in collaboration with our classroom teachers to find ways to make our students successful. If Sandy is presented with a challenge, she will ponder, ruminate, then reflect some more, always working through the issue until she has found that creative solution for kids. Sandy is a regular at Camp Ed and at our Herrick transition meetings. She will advocate strongly to give her students a voice for what they need. Sandy is organized, hardworking. She remains professional whenever faced with controversy during a meeting. Sandy greets her students in the morning 
and sees them off at the end of each day. She works very hard to develop those caring relationships with children and their families. We all wish Sandy the very best as she moves forward into her retirement. Her Lester family will miss her. Tammy Moko has worked as a secretary in District 58 for the last 19 years. She began her career early over at Highland and then found her permanent home here at Leicester. This lady is the heart and soul of our Leicester office. She has a friendly and welcoming persona and a very infectious laugh that puts everyone at ease. Our Tammy is the queen of multitasking. She can write a check from the checkbook, all while she's answering the telephone and giving a teacher instructions on how to unjam the copier. And watch out if a child happens through our office door. She is up lickety split to get them an ice pack, bandage, a sore knee, uh, provide a lunch, or cheer and clap as they turn in a Spotted Bean Good Award. Tammy is positive and caring, always jumping in to help, taking time to coach a staff member, or acting as the answer lady for some of our parents. She is organized, thorough, and a professional through and through. I truly could go on and on about this wonderful lady, and to say she would be missed is a complete understatement. We love her, and we wish her a happy and healthy retirement. neighbor what do you say it's going to be a sad day mrs. Sombeck is retiring while it is going to be sad we are so incredibly happy for you Shar, as you prepare for retirement Shar has spent the last 18 years in a variety of roles most recently in Boston kindergarten where she gave her heart and soul to all that she did whether it was snickerdoodling her kids or handing out those Sombeck smiles. Shar always, always made learning fun. Everyone knew about the Sombeck Cafe where Shar would spend her lunchtime providing a quiet environment for some of her friends. Often outside observers would come to Shar's room and after only a very short time observing would turn and say, Wow, she's really good. You always hope for a kindergarten teacher who is kind and organized, one who helps students to learn not only reading and math, but also how to do school. Shar is gifted at helping kindergartners learn the routines of school and enjoy practicing them. And like every good kindergarten teacher, she has a song for everything. Her map tests are video games, and she's always happy. Every time a student shares something or correctly answers a question, Shar is visibly shocked at what they shared with her and just how brilliant her students are. And they were tickled pink that they had pleased her. Shar, we will miss you, but we wish you well in your retirement. Congratulations. Congratulations. As Dick Resch prepares to depart District 58 and embark on the next step of his journey, with 16 plus years in education, it's time for a well-deserved retirement and time to recognize Dick Rush. Dick's philosophy has been that math is a tool used to solve problems rather than simply a course one needs to take. He describes a style as one that is to simplify things, make sure the kids get it, highlight the usefulness and applications of the concepts while eliminating that math angst. He also makes it known that his classes are also a mixture of humor and stories, not just math. After serving in the Air Force and working as an engineer, Dick turned his talents and passions into a long and successful career teaching math. Dick spent his first few years teaching in Chicago. Once at District 58, he spent three years at O'Neill, followed by his remaining 13 years at Herrick Middle School. After 16 plus years in education, may this next chapter of life bring Dick endless time to do the things he loves. We will all miss the jokes and the recipe of the week. Congratulations on your retirement and best wishes on your new chapter in life. 
I'd like to recognize Maureen Shanahan for her 16 years of service at Henry Puffer School. As one of our secretaries at Puffer, Maureen greeted everyone with a smile as she supported students, staff, and families. Some words to describe Maureen are kind, caring, dependable, detail-oriented, welcoming, and funny. We can always count on Maureen for a good joke when things get challenging. I'll be sending Maureen lots of well wishes as she enjoys her retirement. Congratulations, Maureen. Thank you to Diana Rhodes for her 15 years of service to District 58. She's a second grade teacher at Leicester who is respected by all. Diana's love of Mickey Mouse is always apparent when you walk into her classroom. She has a quiet strength and a big heart. She's always there for her colleagues as a voice of reason or just to listen. Those who work with Diana know that she loves her family and she is a very dear friend. She's someone who always advocates for her students and wants what's best for them. Over the years, Diana has touched so many lives and helped so many children to grow. Diana has a calm presence in our staff that we will miss dearly. We know that after retirement, her days will be filled with grandchildren, crocheting, and all of the wonderful things that she enjoys doing whenever she wants to do them. In appreciation for all of the years of service, we want to say thank you for all of your knowledge and dedication. We will miss you and your Lester family loves you. Thank you, Diana. Congratulations, Leslie, on your 14 years of service to the Whittier community. We have all appreciated your dedication throughout the years. As school secretary, you were the first contact and face of the Whittier office. Your helpfulness and patience enabled all of our parents and students to get their questions answered and feel at home at Whittier. Thank you for your creativity in supporting our school themes each year. Thank you for counting and recounting all the field trip money that came in throughout the year. Thank you for coordinating student registration each year, including Kindergarten Roundup. Thank you for pulling together award certificates, class composites, and our sixth grade photo collages. Thank you for keeping track of all our budgeting, ordering, and checking in of school supplies. Thank you for assisting with our PTA activities and events. Thank you for managing our office and keeping us all on track. Thank you for being a champion to all the Whittier students and staff. In recognition of our theme this year, Be a Champion, the Whittier staff shared some of your champion characteristics that are important to us all. C, creative, charming, considerate, charitable. H, helpful, hip, honest. A, ambitious, A+. Plus. M, mentor, my friend, missed, multi-talented. P, problem solver, patient, positive. I, intelligent, insightful. O, organized, optimistic. N, neighborly, neat, nice. Thank you and best wishes for a happy retirement. Well known for her efficiency and organization, Julie Ruth has always been a proactive self-starter who takes initiative and anticipates students' needs. After serving nearly 13 years as an instructional assistant at Hillcrest, you've developed wonderful relationships with students, staff, and families. Your hound dog teammates see you as someone who's always willing to do anything for the team or take on a new project or challenge. You're a great friend, patient, kind, and your laughter is contagious. Students say you're caring, funny, helpful, loving, and you remind them of the right thing to do. As you transition into retirement, we hope you'll be able to enjoy endless visits to Starbucks, lots of time with Steve, visiting with your children, and an extended time in Arizona. While you have shared that you're eager to retire your Hillcrest gear, we know we'll be seeing you again. We wish you the best and thank you for your years of service. Everyone, my name is Dr. Kevin Russell, the Superintendent of Schools for District 58. I have the honor of recognizing Karen Novak, who is the retiring principal from Leicester School. Karen served proudly as the Leicester School principal for the last 12 years. While serving as the principal, Karen was a leader amongst leaders. Leicester School is a high achieving, high functioning school where relationships and students matter. This is a direct result of Karen's leadership 
and her dedication to her staff, students, and families. Karen is certainly leaving big shoes to fill, but she's done a great job helping and assisting Katie Novosel as she prepares to take over Karen's position when Karen retires. Karen, I hope you finally get time to relax and unwind. No one could have ever predicted that your last year of school would be dealing with a global pandemic, but you've handled it all with dignity and grace, and we are extremely grateful for everything that you've done this year and all the years in District 58. You will be missed, and we can't thank you enough for all that you've done. Have a great retirement, Karen. You deserve it. How do you celebrate someone who has spent 50 years of their life working in District 58? I mean, after all, this person has been working here longer than I've even been alive. I thought we could take a second to reflect on the many laughs and memories that this person has given us over the years. Many might remember her by the scarves that always matched perfectly with each and every outfit, and now even with her masks. Or maybe you've spotted her wearing flip-flops in 40 degree weather because According to her, it's never too cold for flip-flops. Maybe it's some of her famous sayings that you're going to remember. She would often say things like, Meanwhile, back at the ranch, or frankly, Scarlet. When you visited her office, you could always count on a candy jar that was never empty. She was always a team player, and by that I mean someone always willing to dress up in ridiculous outfits to make others laugh, including the most recent as a stuffed hot dog. At the end of the day, Many of us have had the opportunity to be blessed with Ellen Cunningham's humor, work ethic, generosity, and beyond. And while Ellen served in many roles across the district these last 50 years, you always knew that when it came to difficult decisions, Ellen always made her decisions based on what was best for kids. Even if that meant that there wasn't enough money in the school budget, she would happily pull out her own personal checkbook to buy what was needed. Ellen, we are going to miss you. Congratulations.